Hello, it's Fui2, and welcome back to Let's Play Autosphere! I'm gonna go and do stuff with the books. Like books. And uh, last time we uh, finished off the prelude, and uh, now we're gonna start off uh, chapter one of Gwendolyn's book. Let's uh, go on ahead. Let's read that Valkyrie. I don't know, I, I think it's appropriate to start every chapter off by sitting in there. It's nice. So we are now in Act 1 of uh, the Valkyrie. And uh, at the start of every act, well at the start of every chapter, you have your own little prep screen. Well it's not prep, but it's a home screen. Princess, what up? We shall regroup with those able to fight. At the moment I have four That's soldiers good. ready. Just say the word. Well, oh. we only have half the troops we started with. Everyone is rushing. That's unfortunate. Death. If only we knew why. Princess, that was close. I had heard that the Shadow Knight looked like a demon, but he seemed he human to did? me. Did he? Why did he? I let don't know. Go? Why did he let us go? Eh, we'll find more about that later. And whoa, who's this guy? What? Griselda's dead because she rushed ahead of the main forces. It's certainly not because I was late to the battle. But were you? Lord, Lord Brigham, Brigham, huh? You may be one of our nation's heroes, but I hear that you act as you wish because my father does not. I don't know. He seems kind of a like a dick to me. Eh, he's not evil at all. He totally doesn't look like Eggman. Dragon. That monstrous beast. She truly is evil. Wow, I didn't know they had a dragon. Holy cow! The dastardly queen of the fairies. Oh, princess, hear me out. Sure, what do you need? That spear is a magical weapon called a cipher. The dwarves fashion the crystals out of jewels and use them in the. Oh, weapons. so that's how they work. It absorbs magical elements called bosons and is able to absorb and release them. It will surely lead you to victory. Yeah, so this guy is pretty much just reiterating what you learned from the from the tutorial, of course. Yeah, so pretty much at the start of every chapter, you do get this a little area where you just talk to people. You know, it's good world building. My dear princess, that stone on your spear is a jewel from the nether. Wait, what? Did you know that? Traveling from this world to the netherworld. It's very dangerous, and only one man is able to do it. Seems like such King a badass. Ol if we can obtain that cauldron and fabricate our own jewels, Ragnanov will have no more enemies. Well, since we're fighting for the culture. I wonder what kind of uh I mean how big could this culture possibly be? Princess Gwendolyn. I'm worried about you. Please stay strong. Thank you, Miras. Yes, this is Miras. I shall bring some tea up oh, to your God, room tea. later. Wish I had a little body rabbit person to take me tea. And uh, we got this guy. He is very important. You'll be seeing him a lot throughout the game. He's a shopkeeper. I'm a traveling vendor who has been allowed to sell in this castle. Is there uh, anything Baby, you need? I need everything you have. So, this is the buy tutorial. It was just pretty much to tell you, okay, this guy has items, and you can uh, buy some. So, he sells mall receipts. It's too expensive at this point. Not worth it. Hot Crossman's a pretty good healing item. For this point in the game, at least. It's kind of crappy on experience. Yeah, like, sometimes, uh, like, there, you have two different kinds of fruit. Well, food. You have... The food that's like really good, that heals you really well, but it gives you terrible experience. Then you have the stuff that heals you like not that good, but gives you a lot of experience. Uh, it's kind of a give and take. We don't really need food though right now. We don't need to buy anything. So we have some accessories we could buy. We have the speed belt, which I never use. <laughs> yeah, it just increases your running speed. Uh, draw ring. Eh, I don't know. I don't use it. It pretty much makes it so you don't have to. Pick, you don't need a needle to pick up items, but really, 
You're too lazy to kneel? Come on. Got the Saturn Ring, which boosts attack by 5%, which is kind of terrible, actually, at this point in the game. Like, you have no strength. Star Pendant boosts your HP by 5%. Still useless. Not that good, you know. That's pretty much everything this guy has. We don't really want to sell anything either. And if you're curious to see what your inventory is like, uh, you can press the right trigger. And uh, right now we just have some mulberries, which are very good. We're gonna be, we're probably gonna be using those mulberries very soon, because uh, first air is quite a doozy. So we will. So well, let's just take a look at Arian. We have the uh, Ringford Forest. We have Vulcan Lava Pits. Obviously, we can't be going everywhere. You're only allowed to go where the plot tells you to go. We have the Titanium Capital, and the Deep Force of Elfrit, Nebiopolis. That is uh, actually where we are right now. We have the Netherworld, Elfidelpha. That's where the dead people live. Next, we have Winterhorn Ridge, and that's pretty much all the stages in the game. But for right now, we will go. We will be going to the Raging Battlegrounds. Let's go. Boom! We did it. We shall win for great justice in Act 2. We're moving out now. Inform the truth. Let's do it! Griselda. Still kind of sour about that, aren't you? Oh, it's a little birdie. So you're going to battle in order to win your father's love. Who told That's you that, Bert? True. I'm fighting for my kingdom and my own pride. If I fall in battle, that is a fate all my countrymen must face. Don't try to hide the truth. My bluebird. You seek death so that you may earn the love you so Easy. desperately seek. Quiet, what? you. I am but a phantom. I represent your inner Do you? thoughts. I am pathetic. I've never been loved since the day I was born. Giving your life for your father will not make your death worthwhile. You will simply die. Yeah, you know, the birds get a point. Died. Stop it! If I sacrifice myself for my duty, father will surely So I guess you do want to die. Me. Surely. That's actually kind of depressing when you think about it. Oh well, we are now at the front line of the Cauldron War. So, uh, yeah, there will be loading screens like this. I kinda like the book. You know, let's just imagine Alice is just like flipping the pages. It's like, this is a hard fight! So, uh, we must repel the v veneer and head for the Cauldron. But we won't be doing that right away. Because, uh, my main goal is, like, pretty much what you want to do. Ow. I messed up there. Ouch! Yeah, pretty much what you want to do is you want to win all, like, you want to beat all the stages in each chapter. Well, in each act, rather. Because if you do, you'll get experience, and that's good. And we got an S rank. Pretty much what the ranks do is they determine what items you get and the quality. So, uh, now we have, uh, we have seeds and cultivation. Pretty much just another little thing saying, this is what seeds do. You know, they're just items that let you do things. You know? You know, they, you, know you plant a seed, you get stuff. <laughs> just go, go, and kill stuff. So, uh, let's just, uh, unfortunately, this kind of does happen. And yeah, this is pretty much what I tell you. You're gonna fight flying enemies. You know, hold up. Get to do that, bring them to your level, and boom, they are out. You do want to be uh, absorbing as many foes as you can. Ouch. Ouch! There we go. The nice thing about your last attack is usually that it, it usually does do the most damage. You know, it's a finishing move. Alright. So that's pretty good. We got those foes on. You know, just keep on absorbing them. Unfortunately, accessories aren't really good in this game. I can only really think of uh, two accessories off the top of my head that are actually worth it. We will probably be getting that later. 
So, uh, got more, got more coins. Got them all received. Got the map. You want to look for the map in each stage. That'll be very important. You know, you hold L1. Well, yeah, so press L1 to show or hide the map. And if we just look, we have, uh, keep on going straight. It makes, it, now here's the thing. It actually makes sense that we start from here, because from the north is where the Aesir is, and to the south is where the, uh, Veneer is. So if we keep on going, we'll get a hot cross bun. You know, those bees are pretty much the, just the boss stage, well, mini bosses, rather. And the big, and the purple bee is the, uh, main boss of the stage. So keep that in mind. Right here, we have a napalm. Napalms are probably the best items in the game. One of, the, like, easily one of the best items in the game. It's a, an attack item, and when you throw it, it will do massive damage to your opponents. So right here, we have butterflies. Pretty much what, what butterflies do is they release bosons, and when they release the bosons, they will. Uh, it, they'll disappear once you absorb all of them, so keep that in mind. So, uh, where... I don't know. Where are the enemies? The stage was started already. Alright, just going, just going. Alright, there we go. Yeah, just throw a cyclone. Boom. You will not have to deal with these guys. And uh, chances are, if you do kill a large amount of enemies, they will drop enough bosons to uh, warrant use using that. Oh! Ouch! Poor Gwendolyn. Boom! Bada! Boom, dad! Boom, dad! Boom! Just absorb the bosons. You need the you need the experience. And sometimes enemies will drop chests, and uh, sometimes chests can have uh, items in there. Very important to pick those up if you can, because uh, sometimes they might have coins, and money is very important. So we got a hot cross bun. Let's actually use that right now, because the thing with hot cross buns is that they actually, they actually, uh, you can use them twice, which is pretty good actually. I actually uh, really like that. Uh, let's see. So right there. Okay, so right there, we actually got a Toxin. Toxin is another attack item. It's it's okay. I don't really like it that much, though. It's okay. So let's see. We still want to go down, because there is a shop. And if I remember correctly, I think this shop sells the item that I want. Let's just talk to this uh, Cockney extra, man. Since this is a battlefield, but it's very dangerous. I could have nine lives, and it still wouldn't be enough. Uh, I'll make you a deal. You better make me a deal. I got a freaking spear. So, uh, we got some new items here. Got the, uh, Power Stone. No, not the fighting game. Or anime. Um, I don't use it. We get the Lucky Stone, which increases drop rates. I don't care. And we get the... The Almighty Spirit Stone, which is probably the best accessory in the game. Well, until the late game, but for 95% of the game, this is like the best one you want. Well, the way Spirit Stone works is that you gain more experience from absorbing foes on. And since you uh, will be using a lot of magic in the game, you do want to, uh, you do want a Spirit Stone. You know, because it'll really accelerate your character's growth. And trust me, you want that extra, you want those extra levels. It helps tremendously. I'm actually going to move some items around. I don't want the napalm right now. And uh, now we actually have a choice of which way we want to go. Could fight the boss, I could fight a mini boss. In fact, yeah, let's fight the, let's fight our first mini boss. Just, uh, you know, so we can get things interesting. Oh, and we also have, this stage actually gives you a napalm. It's kind of like a mini tutorial. Napalms are so good. They're like... I would say they're the too good to use club, but... Ha! Oh, it's beautiful. Unfortunately, this guy is annoying. Mr. Uh, Unicorn. Yeah, like that's... 
one of my main problems with uh, when like with doing full combos. Because if you do full combos, you can easily get countered, and it's not fun. So this guy, what he likes to do is he likes to charge, and when he does do that, that gives you an ample time to counterattack. Now, something I haven't really mentioned yet is the uh, top screen. Okay, if you look at the top, um, you'll see an outline. You want to be paying attention to the outline. Because if you don't, you'll get your butt kicked. Alright. We do want to kill these uh, fairies, though. It does help to kill these mini guys. I would like to use a hurricane at this boss. Okay, as you can see, we can just do that. Throw a cyclone up. Boom, boom, boom. It does really good damage, actually. And, uh, you know, you really want to be careful here. Just parry this guy as much as you can. Try to avoid his obvious leg attack. See, that's a... Ooh. Also, I should mention, like, just what happened there. That was a critical hit. Critical hits are extremely good. Um, I don't know what the exact calculation is, but they really boost your attack power or your damage output. Which makes sense. It's a critical hit. Why wouldn't it? Um, something else I should note is that when you absorb Phosons, you actually do get some POW back. Mmm! There we go. We took down the boss. And this guy actually does like to uh, drop a massive amount of Phosons, which we'll be using to level up. So just absorb. So now that we're actually at level 6, we actually have gained another Cypher level. Well, another Magic Gauge level. And that's pretty important, because it makes it so we can actually use Cyclone more than once. Which is very nice. Being able to, uh, I don't want to say spam Cyclone, but we can use Cyclone more than once, which I like. You see that hot cross bun? You know, hot cross buns, hot cross buns. You know that song? <laughs> I haven't heard that song in ages. Okay, let us actually go to, uh, let's actually go down. Because we're gonna see if I can get that painkiller. Uh, that's each that I know that this the stage we're gonna get, and this stage is a painkiller. Painkillers are extremely useful throughout the game. Actually, they're probably the the best uh, the best uh, DPS items. Ah, okay. And no, you're gonna get hit. Okay, come on, be nice. Ow. Cyclone! I don't like you guys. Ouch! Yeah, something to note is that the uh, there are different types of enemies. They're more like uh, different palette swaps, but yeah, that one, that guy's a different variant from the regular grunts, and I don't want to use Cyclone. I already, oh, I guess I should. Oh, actually, I probably uh, boom, dead! Sorts of Pozons, back off. And uh, set the cyclone. Yeah, now that we actually do have the butterfly, we will abuse it. <laughs> yeah, in this game, matching is quite good. Unfortunately, uh, this enemy, this is the other variant of the fairy enemy. And they can cast magic. And because of that, it makes them really annoying. Like, look at that, he just healed all of its HP. Well, she just healed all of its HP. That makes sense, right? That's good. That's good grammar, right? <laughs> uh, I love this game. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm doing pretty bad. But uh, I will remedy that very soon. Okay, so we have right here a regeneration. Regenerations are extremely good. Uh, what they do is they heal you periodically. It's an auto-regen effect. Ooh, we have the Art of War. You must not attack haphazardly. You must mind your distance from your opponent. Gather your power and attack swiftly. Avoid multiple enemies and fight one-on-one. -on -one. This, is, this is actually a very good article. You do want to be careful. And know your enemy. Oh, goody. You want to know your enemy. I'm actually going to eat one of these. We... Now, here's the thing. When you get a food level, you'll uh, you'll actually heal all of your HP. So, keep that in mind. 
I would like to keep my items for the boss, man. but that probably not what happened. Land, the stakes are high, but the profits are high. Sure you are. You're kind of sketchy, dude. And what do you have? You pretty much have the same thing the other guy had. Except you have a shield ring, which I don't know why you'd ever use a shield ring. I don't know, it's not up there on my favorite item list. So we could sell the regeneration, but I really don't, I really advise against that. Don't sell your napalms! Um, I might, no, I don't want to sell my toxic. I actually will sell one of my mulberries, though. You do actually, like, money is actually really important in, the, in this game. And uh, it's a good idea. Actually, we're going to get another Toxin, so I might as well just sell the one I have. Toxin, eh, it's okay. It's kind, it's actually pretty good for fighting hordes of enemies. And I will be using it in the five-star stage. Also that, and if you notice, there's like stars. That just tells you what difficulty each stage is at. Um, one being the easiest, five being the hardest. We'll be needing uh, the toxin we'll be getting from the boss for the five-star stage. And more napalm! Yes! Give me more napalm! I'd bathe in it, but I'd die. Because napalm's hurt. Now let's see. What can I do? So we got this guy again. Boom! Combo. Boom, dead. Yeah, this guy you do want to attack from his backside. Make sure you distance yourself to uh, make sure that you can heal. Well, heal your power at least. Wait for it. Go ahead. Back off. He's going to jump. Back attack. Oh! Oh, I got out predicted. Nuts. Yeah, sometimes the bosses do like to just repeat. And something to note is that the on legendary mode, which is I think, yeah, le I think it's called legendary. It's the hardest difficulty. Oh, I'm so close to killing him too. Ugh. There we go. Stupid boss. I was gonna kill you. It was gonna be easy, but then you ruined it. Why did you do that? I was gonna go ahead and yeah, I probably got like a. What is this? Okay, so I got 500. That's not bad. Yeah, I got a B rank. It's barely a B rank, too. Well, technically it's like barely an A, but... Okay, we got all those. Pick up the Toxin. Boom. Okay, so we can go up. We can get that coin. That's a silver coin, actually. And in fact, I will probably just uh, eat one of my hot crossbones to get that HP back. Yeah, I don't want to do the 5-star stage yet, 